also fantastic. This one. Yay! <laughs> this week's edition of Ask Ellen. We're talking a little bit about the weather system that we're tracking tonight. Anna wants to know, could we see this upgraded to a blizzard watch with winds over 55 miles per hour and zero visibility? This is such a good question. Mm -hmm. I love it. So let's just dive right in. Remember, what constitutes a blizzard? We have to meet certain criteria. We need falling or blowing snow. You can actually get a blizzard warning with no falling snow. It could just be ground snow at wow. times. You need visibility of a quarter of a mile or less, mm -hmm. winds of at least 35 miles per hour sustained or greater, yeah. and then you need it to happen for three hours or more. Uh -huh. Now remember, these are only issued by the National Weather Service. No one else can issue a blizzard warning. So with blizzard warnings, we see them rarely in West Michigan. We typically see, remember with me, less than one warning a year on average for our office for the West Michigan area. Much more frequent winter storm warnings, which which are high impact winter storms like the one we're about to see. And then very frequently we see winter weather advisories. We've seen eight to 30 of those issued per year on average, uh, looking at the last 20 years of data. So blizzard warnings and the National Weather Service, why are they so rare? And why didn't the National Weather Service issue one for this upcoming storm? Well, one of the reasons why is blizzards carry a lot of weight here in West Michigan. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we don't see a blizzard warning issued unless it's going to be very impactful, very memorable. Otherwise, most Michiganders walk outside and they go, this is a winter storm. Right. What's the big deal? Why did you issue a blizzard warning? Proud people. <laughs> we are a proud people here in West Michigan. So remember with me some of the most memorable blizzards here, the blizzard of 2022. That was the Christmas blizzard. That one was pretty substantial. We saw 22.7 inches of snow through that, and we met blizzard criteria. Actually more frequently than we did in the blizzard of 1978. However, blizzard of 1978, mm -hmm. extremely memorable. People were stranded, mm -hmm. my goodness, without power for more than a week and then some. So for our local National Weather Service office, they usually wait to issue blizzard warnings unless it really slam dunk fits the criteria and then some. And some benefits of having the NWS as the alert authority the communication is kept consistent, so we don't have different media outlets saying different things. Mm -hmm. Qualifications for the folks issuing the alerts remains very high. And our National Weather Service staff do not get paid more based on clicks, storms, or messaging. Lastly, they're very bipartisan. In fact, the National Weather Service, one of the most bipartisan rated uh, federal agencies. So a little bit of backstory there. Big respect for our National Weather Service partners. Makes sense to me. Good night, all. <laughs>